All right, this is a demonstration of what occurs, why flow continues even after the rainstorm stops flowing, stops falling. So I'm going to push this out of the way here. Basically, you've got a basin here, and even though we're just showing the balls kind of falling here, realize that this would obviously be a rainstorm that wouldn't just fall on the line, but you can kind of get a concept here. This is all falling down towards the bottom of that pond there. So right now, there's really not much water flowing into the pond because those parts of the pond that are a long way away, the water has not reached a flow down through there. Right near near the bottom, you see some water starting to accumulate because things that are close in, in distance have already started to flow from the time the rainstorm beginning, began to fall. Now, the assumption here is that all the rain began in the same spot in all the places at the same time, but right now, the rainfall, it's all starting to run. You're getting an increase of inflow into that basin at the bottom. And right now, right around there, the, the rain stops in about a couple of frames here. We're at 116 frames here. This is a time step analysis, just like you did before. The rainfall has stopped at this point. However, there's going to be a lag in the time it takes before all of the basin has drained to the point of collection. In this case, this basin here is a dead-end basin, if you would. It is, has no place for the water to go um, except for it to either evaporate or to actually to, uh, to infiltrate into the ground. So you see here now the balls are still kind of creeping, if you would, because they are flowing down face, down the energy gradient, which is defined by the cross product of the normal vector and the gravity vector that cross product multiplied by the down, sorry, the cross product of any two vectors on a plane multiplied by the, that multiplied in a cross product with the down gravity vector and that value multiplied in a cross product of the normal vector tells you the direction that that ball flows or falls at any one point in time. It falls down the fall line. So you saw it blow up, don't send, we will stop.